Minecraft Core Community, and I will be explaining the Chapter 4, Probability. Probability is defined as the possibili possibility of an outcome in a situation compared to the total number of possibilities. In my example, I have the chances of rolling a six on a dice. The number six is labeled on one set of on one side of the dice, on a six-sided dice. So the total amount of possibilities are six possibilities of six different numbers. However, there is only one six value on that dice. So there is only one possible outcome of hitting the six so in so because of this it is uh the fraction one sixth or these are three different ways to write a probability one is a fraction one is a ratio and one as a decimal next we have odds odds is defined as the possibility of an outcome compared to the possibility that the outcome fails. So I use the same example of a six-sided dice. On the six-sided dice, they are six sides. However, there is only six labeled on one side. The rest of the five sides have different numbers lay, uh, printed out on them and are not labeled six. Therefore, there are five outcomes of this. So unlike the probability, this ratio is one to five or one fifth or two tenths. These are both, odds and probability are both ways of finding a relationship between the possibility of outcomes in a situation. So here we can see that probability can involve and or or in the problem wording of a pos of a problem. So here we have a data table, and in this table, it is labeled red and blue for the categories of color, and the vehicles in the table are a bike and a car. So for the problem here we have the probability of having a car that is a car and blue and the possibility of a car or blue. So first let's go through probability of a car and blue. So as you can see, there are five blue bikes, 15 blue cars, 10 red bikes and 10 and 20 cars. So to find the probability, we first must add the total amount of cars and bikes, each color, to find the total amount of possible outcomes. So once we add five to 10 to 15 to 20, we get the number 50. Then we find that the prob we find the probability of a car and blue, or the to the uh, outcomes of a car and blue. So as we go to as we go to blue bike, we have a blue, but it is not a car as well. So we cannot count that value. The only value we can count is car and blue, which is fifteen. And so we have the deciding factors for the ratio of possible outcomes to total outcomes, which would be as seen 15 to 50. And when we round down, we get something equal to three tenths. So now we went over the and, we can move over to the or. So, Prob the possibility probability of having a car or blue 
So we do the same thing for the first step. We add up the total out or total possibilities of each vehicle and its color and we get 50. But now as we look at the table values, blue bike and a red car can also be included into the possible outcomes because of the keyword or in the question. Or allows the properties to have one or the other, but they don't have to contain both properties. So as you can see here, we add five to 15 and which makes 20 and add 20 to that, which is 40. And it is not simplified here, but our final fraction would be 40 over 50 or four fifths, sorry. Also in probabilities, sometimes we have to find the percentage something of something that does not happen to answer the question. So in this example, a family has four children. Find the probability of at least one boy. So to start the problem, we have to find the total amount of possible outcomes of having at least one boy. So to start, a family could, in a family of four children, there could be four boys. The next possible outcome is three boys and one girl. After that, we have a split of two boys and two girls. The next outcome is blue is uh, one boy and three girls. And the last possibility of kids is for all four girls. So because permutations and combinations are not involved with this type of problem, there is no need for um, to find the exact order. But we do know that from the wording of this problem, that at least one boy has to, at least one of the children in the family has to be a boy for the total amount of outcomes to be considered a possible outcome. So as we look at these possible outcomes, we can see that the all girls is, all girl family is, um, does not contain a possible outcome in this situation, therefore is weeded out. However, we can take we can take this um, uh, value away from 100% to find the percentage of having at least one boy in the family. So the, the probability that the outcome does not have at least one boy is one to five, which is 20%. And if we take 100% minus 20%, we get 80%, and 80% is the final uh, possibility of having at least one boy in the family. Thank you. I hope you learned something from my explanation on today's lesson of Chapter 4. And uh, I hope I cleared things up for you.